in this lesson I will show you how to download the JDK and set it up so we'll uh, first talk about downloading the JDK and then uh, installing it and then configuring it go to java.sun.com and you can look for Java SE JDK or here is the direct link that you can go to and uh, which will take you to the download page if you follow that link you will see a page which looks something like that uh, make sure that you have selected Java JDK 6 update 20 or later whatever may be available at that time and then click on the download button make sure that you want to download the JDK and not JRE on the next page select the platform I'm going to download the JDK for Windows JDK is also available for uh, a variety of other operating systems click on the download next and uh, it will ask you to save the file when it does just uh, click on save file button the file name would look something like this it may not be exactly that file name depending on the version that you are downloading on the next page make sure that you change the folder where the JDK is installed by default it will ask you to install in a folder like this uh, I suggest that you choose a simpler folder so click on the change button and as you will see on the next page provide a simpler name uh, what I suggest is you install it at uh, some top level folder in whatever drive you want I am going to choose C JDK 6 so it's the folder name is JDK 6 on drive C when you click on the OK button it will take you back to the previous screen and it will confirm that that's the folder that you have selected click on the next button on the next page it will ask you whether you want to change the name of the folder where JRE is installed we do not want to change this one so simply select on the next button okay just wait for a few seconds your installation would be done uh, when it is done we want to configure the JDK so that uh, you can use it from a text pad from the notepad or also at the command line so to configure the JDK right click on my computer select properties and when you see the properties dialog box click on advanced and when you click to click on advanced you will see the environment variables button at the bottom click on that button and uh, you would see a dialog box like this and what you want to do here is uh, go to the system variables find path and uh, double click on the path when you double click on the path your path may look something like that what you want to make sure is that you add or you append cjdk6 bin to your path variable when you are all done click on the ok button click on the ok button here and you are all set so at this point installation is complete the next tutorial is on how to write your first Java program.